all the way on the other side of the world. Just really here. Man, this is just like, it's felt like a long day because traveling here was a lot. And then I went through like, just being kind of out of it and in a daze from all the travel. And I didn't understand it because I was like, but I slept. I slept like on the flight to Turkey and I slept again on the flight from Turkey to here. So I would think after all that sleep, I wouldn't be out of it, but I'm out of it. <laughs> so yeah, so once I got here, I just had to have like, I don't know, some sort of realization and let it sink in and like accept that I'm here. It was almost like, who did this to me? Who, who? Who took me here? It's like, Christine, you brought yourself here <laughs> and you're gonna have a great time. And I am, but I have to, I don't know. I have to, I have to catch up. Cause I gotta, I just gotta soak it in. It's a lot. It's morning, but it feels like, I don't even know what time it feels like. Um, <sighs> Look at these beautiful flowers, the flowers. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna take a nap. Definitely gonna take a nap, but I just wanna like explore, walk around, kind of figure some stuff out. And then, yeah, take a little nap, probably set my alarm so I don't oversleep. And then uh, come back out later and go to sleep at the proper time and wake up and have a whole new place to explore. But yeah, wow. I just can't believe I'm here. It's so pretty, look. for my food I'm about to get some tea because I am a tea person and I'm just relaxing I thought I was gonna take a nap but I haven't taken a nap yet yeah I wanted what's the African tea African tea just mix tea like you boil the milk the water and the tea leaves mm -hmm. together like okay yeah <laughs> all right I haven't yeah I haven't had that so is it um is it like a black black tea? No no no. It has milk. Uh-huh. So it's a combination. Like it's a, it's white tea, but it's mixed. Like you don't have the black tea separate and the milk separate. Like it's all together. Mm, okay. And then it's like sweet? Uh no that no, it's not sweet. Maybe put sugar. Like, oh you, you I would won't, add won't put anything to sweeten it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so you see the confusion on my face yeah it's kind of hard to miss so i'm realizing here calling tea black is similar to saying you want black coffee no sugar no cream where i am from we identify tea in four main groups green white oolong and black and that all depends on the processing of the tea leaves look it up
So in real time, you see me processing what she is saying and realizing what is meant by black tea. This happens often when you travel. You have to grow to communicate and understand your new surroundings. And this is why I love travel. Now, back to your scheduled programming. And then the masala tea. Oh, the masala. It's mm -hmm. the African tea. Just added the, the masala. The, it's a spice. Oh, the spices. Yeah. Okay, I'll do the masala tea. That sounds good. Okay. Thank you. No, okay. I'm tired. But I'm happy. The wind is blowing, the sun is shining. I know I'm in the shade, but yeah. I'm just so relaxed, so relaxed. I'm looking at these purple flowers that are just really, really beautiful. Oh, snap. Oh my gosh. It's like some of the vegetation makes me think of California, makes me think of South Carolina, but all together, it's like nothing I've ever seen. On the way here, I saw someone just selling plants. And you could tell like the plants were grown like here or close by. And in the US you'll see, you know, plants being sold at like Home Depot or seasonally at the farmer's market, but it's just it's like straight from the source. Like this was grown <laughs> twenty feet away and now it's being sold twenty feet away. So, yeah. Mm. That's my tea. Here is my tea. It's masala tea. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Let's see. You know it's hot, hot. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And that's the sugar. Tea time. I love tea. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. Don't you just like that sound? I'm so tired. I'm trying not to fall asleep. It was hot. I'm enjoy. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my meal by myself. Peace out.
new environment, I look forward to noticing and observing how people and nature interact, especially the colors. Here in Nairobi, the dirt is mostly red. The flowers are purple, yellow, orange, and pink. And the people reflect those colors in how they dress and paint their homes. People adorn themselves in new and traditional patterns and colorful prints. People reflect their environment. As I am literally drifting in and out of time zones, sleepy states, and fleeting alertness, I keep reminding myself that I am actually here on this mineral-rich Kenyan soil. I dreamed about this, but I am no longer dreaming. This is my reality. When I look out of the window in the car or take in the scene as I walk from place to place, I feel like a sponge gasping for water. I want to be full. I want to record and commit every frame to memory. I want to show you what I now see. I am savoring these moments. Wait, am I dreaming? What's happening? Is this the jet lag? Where, where am I? Yo, I'm so sleepy. Oh gosh, let me not trip. The struggle is real. I went to the hotel restaurant and I was falling asleep as she was ringing me out. And I was dreaming too. 